those of you guys who have been following me on Instagram, you've been so interested in hearing about how my skin appointment went. And um, I filmed everything for you guys. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, first off, you should follow my Instagram because you will know everything first. <laughs> Second off, I went around three weeks ago to a dermatology clinic. So it's called Banubaki. And they have a lot of different plastic surgery clinics, um, a lot of, they literally do everything, but I went to the uh, dermatology part of it because I really wanted to try to see what I could do with my skin. So let me first give you a little backstory about my skin. I used to have uh, quite bad acne when I was younger, around like 13 years old. That Around that time I had really bad acne and it's not been super bad it's just been different patches different pimples like discoloration um, all throughout the rest of my life now and uh, sometimes I would have big pimples here and there and I would just always constantly have little bumps everywhere so that has always annoyed me a lot and being the white person that I am I also have a lot of skin discolorations and just sensitiveness to the Sun and like freckles coming up and everything which I actually do like I like freckles <laughs> but I've always had a lot of different things going on in my face and back in Denmark it's not so much of an issue but coming to Korea every single little discoloration on your skin whatever it is if it's a mole whatever it's bad and it should go <laughs> and I was so shocked but you guys can hear my reaction to this when he, he the doctor tells me more okay guys I have finally arrived to Pandopaki plastic surgery and um, yes it's also like a surgery clinic so if you want anything done you can also do it here I'm so excited to get this done this is gonna be my first like really deep cleansing like really custom made facial so I have high expectations that I'm sure they can deliver um, so yeah let's just go up I'm eager to go up mostly because I have to pee wrong building Prior to the treatment, they put me in one of these boxes so that um, they could take a picture of my skin and kind of see what was going on there. And then later to the consultation, he would then suggest what um, treatments would suit me the best. So can you take a your clothes to show your armpit? Oh, because we yeah. have to take a picture before a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this is awkward, guys, because uh, you don't have you shouldn't shave before coming here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now heading next to see Dr. Chung, who is actually the um, head doctor of this clinic. So I'm very excited. Apparently, he has been like, consulting a lot of celebrities and influencers as well. So I am uh, excited to meet Dr. Chung. I'm very glad you meet. Glad to meet you. Mm. So you took uh, a special photo mm. uh, using dermal vision. As you can see you have a very thin skin. Yeah. And you have some pigment problems. Mm. Let's see in details. Oh my ah. god. <laughs> Under oh. the eyes. Oh. Yes. Is that sun damage? Sunspot. Oh. Mm. oh my god, I look so old in this photo. Ah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> really? uh, it's normal. Oh, okay. Mm. And the blackhead. Oh, yeah. You can see. Oh, this is a mole. Yeah. Mm. Uh, these moles uh, can be can be treated very easily. You want uh, hair removal treatment? Yeah. Uh, under eye. <laughs> uh, can I, I treat whole moles? Um, I my main concern is these three because mm. it's so center in my face it is visible in camera. Mm. But I think like these out here is more charming. <laughs> so I think I'll just. Charming? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, not charming, <laughs> not attractive. Mm. Okay, I was just slept. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Because... Old, old. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too late. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> the doctor basically put me on the treatment called All in One. And it's not just, you know, a set treatment from a menu that they will give you if you need this and this and that. It's actually a treatment that has, I think, maximum eight um, treatments in it. And then everything is kind of um, hand-picked for your skin and what you need for your skin to improve it. I was so shocked when he said that moles is not pretty. In Denmark, we call them beauty spots. They're pretty to us. <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> I am going to change into a little sexy treatment outfit. <laughs> yeah, let me just find the locker. So the treatments is a bunch of laser treatments and if someone knows me well they know that I have the biggest fear of doctors ever. I'm so scared and especially everything that has to do with needles and something that kind of like you know goes into your skin and that includes lasers. I was terrified. I was not sure like how I should feel. There's one treatment where you take your blood out of your arm and then you they kind of like reformulate it so it's only you know all of the healthy stuff in the blood and then they inject it back into your skin and he said oh that could be good for you and I was like no <laughs> I'm no one I'm not gonna do that <laughs> time finally came I was put in the room and I was uh, you know just uh, cleaning my face a little bit and then they put on the numbing cream I'm glad they did it though I I'm actually um, not very sensitive to pain at all. I have a very high pain tolerance, um, but I'm glad they did it because I could feel it. I just got all of the numbing cream on and it's stinging a little bit, but it's not painful at all. I just got the cream taken off and I cannot feel anything on my face so I think I'm ready to go to the next one. So this is useful for brightening and whitening, mm. uh, whitening effect and it, it can make your skin uh, glowing and then your skin texture uh, will be better than before. Okay. One, two, three. How do you feel? Mm, it's just warm. Warm. Because <laughs> you have to get <laughs> a lot of uh, variety of lasers. Okay. Mm. So after removing gel, mm. so you get a uh, hair removal treatment. Okay. All in all, the lasers don't really hurt much. Actually, you feel a little pinch, but you don't. You know feel any pain I would say the only thing that was painful like legit painful was the hair removal because I got I got my armpits done as well um, I need a few more treatments but I got my armpits and uh, as the doctor called it my mustache removed a little bit stinging one to three one to three okay so the female doctor just did my armpit as well that was so painful that was so painful. They did put numbing cream on my arms as well, but it was like, Ugh! that was not fun at all. The treatments was okay. Okay, so I will extract the pimples. Okay. Mm. Just a two. Uh, it is a little bit painful. Can you see? It's <laughs> 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 disgusting. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you will like it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> uh, it has nine needles. <laughs> okay. This is injection. Yeah. Uh, actually. Okay. But you can't feel anything, just the sucking. Okay. Mm. 
That's good. It's true, I cannot feel anything. Yeah. The effect of a hydro lifting and then safety, almost all patients love this treatment. Yeah, this one is the most comfortable so far. <laughs> <laughs> and for the dark circle, mm. it's very useful. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Okay guys, all of my treatments are done now and I got some band-aids on my little spots that he did um, and I got the last like treatment to like soothe the skin completely and then she just put on some moisturizer in the end and I think now I am gonna go change my clothing and then I'll see you when I'm out. So directly after the treatment my skin was actually Quite normal. I didn't really see many differences other than just a little redness, um, but the, the, the issues, they came the next day. Um, my skin, I woke up and my skin just felt so rough. It was like touching something that was cracked, like a cracker. A cracker. Yeah, that was my skin. <laughs> the only place they didn't touch, you know, was the eyes, just around the eyes, and that part swelled up completely and got really red. And they told me not even to use any skincare, so I just didn't know what to do. Um, so I just stayed inside my room. <laughs> this roughness continued for at least five days, I would say. It gradually got better after two, three days. The eyes were not swollen anymore. After a week, I would say the skin started to feel a lot normal. And then I went to Bali and they said, um, remember just to use a lot of SPF now that you are in Bali. So every single day on Bali I wore SPF 50. So throughout that week I just saw so much progress. My skin usually before I had like dark uh, circles and dark really dark eyelids and I had some yellowness on the side of my mouth and but during that week on Bali I just really started to see my skin becoming way more evenly toned. It had like same, kind of same complexion all over and I didn't feel like I had to put concealer on my eyelids or something. And that was really, really nice to see. So definitely as an overall glow, I saw so much progress and my skin just feels much more, much more glowy and the darkness I had on my eyelids and the darkness I had under my eyes and these kind of stuff, it's more evened out now. One thing, however, that I see that has actually become worse since the treatment is the sunspots I have on my cheeks. So as you can see on like the before and after pictures, I don't really know if it was because I was on Bali and there was a lot of sun, but still I wore SPF 50 every single day and I actually stayed in the shade most of the time or I wore a hat. So I'm not really sure. It was a little bit frustrating for me because I know I had the treatment to get rid of these and now I have more. So yeah, was this skin treatment worth it? I think a lot of the things were really worth it. I, I see a lot more liveliness in my skin and um, especially because I don't actually mind the freckles and the molds. The molds haven't disappeared right yet. They should have another treatment because they was quite deep. But I don't actually mind them at all. So that's why I think for me it was very successful. But could I, I could have lived without them trying to remove this because I don't honestly care. It's just a Korean standard that they, they want to do it. Um, I could have lived without that, definitely. But all of the other treatments, the collagen injections, all of this, I see so much improvement. And I haven't had any major acne since then, mean any you know major pimples. I have a little bit of bumps here and there, but it's not as much as before. And I definitely feel way more clean now without makeup as well. So yeah, that was my experience. If you guys have any experience with um, Korean dermatology as well, or if you're just interested and have any questions, you can leave it down below and I will be sure to get back to you. So if you're interested in Panubagi, I have all of the links in the description box below as well as my own social media links. So please go down and have a look. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next week. 